To me, this is the one that sometimes looks like this. This is like, I got a product, I wanna jam it down their throat to get them to buy. Hey guys, Johnny Koskin here. So I want to run through consultative versus traditional selling and it may sound boring. I'm going to make it quick because one of them can make you a lot of money and one of them can't, depends on what you sell. It can make you a lot if it fits your world. So I'm not going to just go at, you can't make money there. You can, but if I were to ask a hundred people, hey, um, tell me which one of these processes do you like the most? Traditional selling is this. Traditional selling, it starts with the product then it finds the customer to try to equal sale. That's what this is kind of, that's what traditional is. Got a product, find a prospect or a client, get them to buy. To me, this is the one that sometimes looks like this. This is like, I got a product, I want to jam it down their throat to get them to buy. That's traditionally, traditionally what you would hear, either traditional or even transactional sale. Consultative flops these two. It reverses it. It focuses on the customer first, then the product to equal the sale. And what happens though, the difference of this one in terms of in focuses on the customer and the product is this, the product isn't really the product, it's a solution. And a solution is a variety of different products that would actually end up helping the customer to get them to buy so it can differentiate you from your competition. That's what this does. And the biggest mistake that people make when they do consultative versus traditional is they think they're being consultative. And what happens is they ask one question, a second question, then they go, great, let me tell you what I got. Well, yeah, you started off well and then you jumped right into this bucket really, really quick. Just make sure that when you do this, you guys, you wanna be able to list out your top two or three products that you have, okay? Once you do that, then you wanna have two to three really great questions on each one of these products. Think about this, guys. What if I said, uh, I'll give you $1,000. Here's $1,000. I don't care if they buy or not. You still get the thousand. Here's the deal though. They gotta talk more than you. If they talk more than you, and you don't care if they buy or not, I'll give you a thousand bucks for every meeting you have. I'll bet you you'd be like, game on, that's easy. You know what you would do though? You would say, all right, I need to be prepared, which means I have to ask them really good questions. You know what you would do? You would, you would take more time learning great questions, learning more about your products in terms of great questions to ask about them and the value it would bring to your customer, you would be more prepared to be able to ask these questions because you don't get your thousand bucks unless they talk more than me. And you don't care if they buy or not. And that's really where you want to go with this, you guys. You want to make sure that they're talking, don't interrupt, just listen. And the biggest mistake is you guys want to come to the rescue too quick. Consultative selling, it can make you a lot more money, have some great questions about each one of your products to differentiate yourself and come up with a solution, not just a product. Because then what happens is this goes to there, but then this doesn't go to there, this goes to S, and that'll equal a sale. See ya.